Right now, we know many parents and students continue to have questions about the medical emergency that prompted a lockdown and a tense day at Jupiter High School. And no details, of course, have been shared yet, at least about the exact circumstances surrounding that medical incident because of privacy laws. But we do know that it had a big impact on the school community. WPTV education reporter Stephanie Suskind joins us now in studio with more insight on how the district responded. Stephanie. Well, every school has a counselor and a behavioral health specialist on campus, but something like this really brings out more support. They have therapy dogs, additional counselors, and really a whole team. But what does that look like for those going through it? I reconnected with a Boca Raton teacher today who knows firsthand. When we came back that first Monday, you know, third period and the seats empty, you know, we, we kind of took a moment ourselves. Olympic Heights math teacher Amy Bear sadly knows what it's like to experience tragedy in her school community. Last month, one of her students died in a crash while riding his bike on 441. It was a, a shock to all of us. Um, and, you know, administration had immediately sent us an email and said, you know, that we have extra resources on campus available to the staff and the students. She took advantage, bringing her students together to talk with additional mental health counselors on campus. Relating it to them in a way too that, you know, I was feeling the same way they were. I was angry, you know, I was upset and, you know, being able to have them there to kind of talk us through everything was was really great. Some of those same resources are now on campus at Jupiter High School. After a medical emergency involving a student put the school on lockdown Thursday and really shook up many students and staff. Timing's critical, so when an event occurs, we're ready to go. Keith Oswald is the chief of equity and wellness for the Palm Beach County School District. He was at Jupiter High as the situation unfolded and says the district has a crisis team that responds immediately. These individuals really provide that emotional support that is needed after any type of a situation. So they'll provide that on time and support of counseling services, one on one, small groups you know, support to families. He says the district also has community agencies that provide services at dozens of schools, including Jupiter High. We have over 10 that provide um, uh, therapists right on our school campuses. Those are free services that really go uh, deeper into you know, some mental and behavioral health support for our students. Oswald says more than 30,000 students took advantage of on-campus mental health services last school year, showing the need is there on any given day, but especially after a traumatic event. It was quite inspiring to see how many people wanted to come together to come and respond to really support that community and those kids to make sure they were okay. And we know many of you want to know about that student. I have been checking with the school district and leaders tell me the student continues to receive treatment at the hospital. We've also learned the Jupiter High School basketball team is turning tonight's game into a fundraiser for the student and his family. All ticket sales will go to the family and people can make donations at the game as well.